Hi, I'm Stephanie Townrow, the Director of Education and Public Programs at Lancaster History. And I'm joining you from President James Buchanan's Wheatland. We're in the sitting room, sometimes known as the East Parlor of Wheatland. And we're in this room today to talk about President Buchanan's niece, Harriet Lane. President Buchanan is known to be a lifelong bachelor, but his niece didn't remain unmarried forever. She got married at the age of 35, later in life, especially for the 19th century. But before that, she was busy being the first lady and then the Civil War hit, so she waited quite a long time to get married to the right guy. Um, but she did find the right guy. His name was Henry Elliot Johnston. He was a wealthy banker from Baltimore, from a, a banking family of Baltimore, very well known in that area. And he met Harriet a few years prior to their marriage and they got married in January of 1866. And we know they got married at Wheatland. We're not sure exactly what room they got married in, but the hypothesis is that it was this room. And if they did get married in this room, it would have been in front of the fireplace here. This is a, a beautiful original fireplace and this mantle was, uh, is marble imported from Italy. So we know that it would have been really one of their best rooms and certainly the best fireplace in the house. Harriet and Henry got married in a ceremony performed by her uncle, Edward Buchanan, President Buchanan's brother. He was an Episcopal minister, and there were about 40 people in attendance. Afterwards, the bridal party enjoyed dinner with their guests here at Wheatland, and then they left immediately for a bridal trip that same afternoon. Another notable feature of this room is this piano. This is a chickering piano which was purchased by President Buchanan in December 1865, right before Harriet's January 1866 nuptials. And this is a piano made by the Chickering Company based out of Boston. And it's a very good American-made piano. And we know that Buchanan also had a Chickering piano in the White House.